Hello everybody and welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel. Today we are back with a new reaction video and today we are back with Dreamcatcher. Those of you that have checked out my channel before know Dreamcatcher completely blew me away with the recent comeback back in January and since then I told myself I want to react to the entire discography and we are now at the second part of that. We have already reacted to the first single album Nightmare and today we are back with their second single album Nightmare Fall Asleep in the mirror and i am extremely excited we've also recently had their japanese ep which i absolutely loved and i've now got two new dreamcatcher songs to check out which means two new songs from my playlist most likely um we got the intro my toys we got um dreamcatcher good night music video the title track and a special clip to um the b-side lullaby usually i react to the um to the um, lyric videos to do these kind of songs to so the b-sides but this one um, not only um, has the lyrics as well but also you can see the name so that's easier for me and that's then obviously a bit better than just the plain lyric videos all right i'd say let's get into this very excited for this my toys intro um yeah that, that was put out in april i think like uh, three months after the debut so it's certainly a good time as well so Let's start with the intro. You always told me never skip the intros, so we won't be doing this, of course. Let's go. Mm -hmm. Setting the tone really good already. Footsteps. Knocking on the door. Hell yeah. I'm a big fan of, sometimes I don't even the lyrics, sometimes the good instrumental works as well, like video game soundtracks in that direction. Hell uh, yeah. If both songs are anything like that, then sign me the F up. I've mentioned before that the way Dreamcatcher combines K-pop with rock and metal, it's just unbelievable. Like, it's, it's just sounds always so good. I have no idea who produces their music. But whoever it is, bless them. Bless them. The instrumentals are like killer every single time. And it was a good intro. That already sets the tone pretty good. I hope Good Night is anything like that. The MV already looks pretty cool. The, the, the picture I have behind myself already looks pretty cool. So, I'm excited to see what a Good Night has in store for me. Dreamcatcher, Good Night, MV. Let's go. For a row back to the first song, to the debut. Welcome back. Hell yeah! That's what I wanted. After the distortion voice in the background. Okay, on. Nice video effect. Like my very own doll, these lyrics. Team Catch the lyrics are. Dummy! Her swag is like. Star. Three chorus and bridge is once again so hype up. Ah, oh, this run, run, run sounds so good. It's 
stay trapped like this forever like my very own doll. It's just such a great lyric. Visuals in a music video, y'all, like... No, no, no. The vocal. Piano, wonderful. Oh, this effect is so good. We've had it today in the video as well. This lyric is just hit so hard. Oh, nice video. It's just, I love the videos. Such a great story. Now he's the one trapped in the mirror. And that's why the album is called Fall Asleep in the Mirror, huh? Ooh. Holy smokes, we're literally... We're literally going movies with this. Like, the first music video already was so... Interesting and unique and dope. Like, was... Is, has there ever been, like, a capable that puts up such concept and makes it work? Like, this mystique... Somewhat creepy, but especially interviewing type of concept with rock metal sound amazing simply amazing y'all when i heard the intro i knew let's let come on let's get it with 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 metal and rock in the background i did the work once again so damn good dreamcatcher good night what a damn song first like just when i skip once again through the music video it's just the, the, I am once again like so overwhelmed with everything. The music video is killer, you know? The music video is from the locations, the lighting, the idea with the mirror thingy, um, how the girls were put in place, their outfits, it's just, ah, uh, it's just so good. Just so freaking damn good. Like the black dresses here. It just generally, it's just uh, the gold ones too. The way they're running through the forest, it's just, at the end, like, the Druids things. Man, but wait, was it Dami, actually? It's just so hot still to me. I f maybe there wasn't even Dami. That maybe there was someone else. Oh, please tell me. Oh, man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry if it was someone else. But, like, whenever I hear rap in Dreamcatcher, I'm like, all right, that's Dami for sure. <laughs> yeah, but either way, once again, the song just so... Freaking damn good! Like the verses sound so great. You had such a nice high vocal nitty, and the the pre-chorus and the and the final pre-chorus they're so good. The chorus itself is amazing with the uh, run, run, run. It's just so catchy. And again, the instrumental worked so damn well. Like the 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 guitars, the piano nitty, and it just it harmonizes so well together. The way they just always make it work so good where many groups would easily fail in making it work. It's just so damn great. Absolutely amazing. Once again, lyrics also great, very interesting, something that when you listen to a song, when you listen to Dreamcatcher's song at first, you obviously won't understand the lyrics, but then afterwards you're like, oh, now I want to watch the lyrics, now I want to check out the lyrics as well. Because Dreamcatcher has that feeling, they make you want to check out everything. Without even moving a finger, I'm making you drenched in sweat. Back more. This game is for you. I can stop. You can't escape no matter how much you try. And this endlessly repeating nightmare. It's stay trapped like this forever like my very own doll. Like, man, it's so good. Obviously, they have the, the, they have the range and space to make such lyrics giving their, the, giving their concept. If you, like, always make the same concept, it's pretty hard to, like, come up with creative lyrics. But these lyrics are just so damn good. Amazing. So damn good. And like I said, I really hope... That rap part after the first verse was done. If not, I'm sorry, I'm embarrassed. Okay, let's get to the last one, Dreamcatcher Lulabi. This is a special clip, so it's, I think it's just a bit performance here, exactly where they're just sitting there and singing. I think it's still a bit more interesting than just looking at lyrics. So let's get into this as well. Good night, definitely delivered for me. Amazing, absolutely fantastic. All right, next song, Dreamcatcher Lulabi. Ah, piano. Ah, this sounds like a ballad again. Just similar like in the first one with emotion.
Handok's voice is just Yeah, he on her smile nice I didn't expect that. Nice, nice switch up there. This is obviously not like music video quality. I think they just wanted to give their fans a special video to watch for the song too. And it works for sure, they look amazing. And this is obviously like a song to show off their vocals and it works. Amazing. I love her hair here. Nice color. Wonderful. This is such a nice combination of just vocals and beautiful lyrics and beautiful instrumental, but giving some pace in there too. Like this is a ballad, but it doesn't feel like one. It just it, it, you listen to it way differently. Piano is such a wonderful instrument, isn't it? When will that be? When did they release this? July 3rd. Alright, so I think just like one or two weeks before the first mini album dropped. So this obviously took a while till they put that out. I No, wasn't that like, um, haven't they done this for Odd Eye 2? Like when they reached a specific uh, view my milestone for, for the main title track that they give the second song like something as well? Didn't they do that for Poison Love recently too? I think that's that's what happened here. Um, Either way, beautiful, beautiful song. Um, I really gotta say, if, why don't they do that every time? Like for every group, I think we've had that with um, Cosmic Girls like two days ago as well. Um, that they put the name of the of the artist or who's currently singing at, at the start um, when they like start that part. Like you see, even though I've checked out many songs of them now already, especially with their older looks, it's still extremely hard for me to identify them. Um, so that would be very helpful if they had it with every video. Either way, like I said, wonderful song, beautiful instrumental piano, just works every single time. It's just one of those instrumentals you can listen to every single time. Like this is like piano music is one of those that you just listen to. You don't even need anything else. Just a beautiful piano works every time. Works so great for ballads. And um, the point of the song obviously was to like show off the vocals. Like you often have that with B-sides that the first song is more like on flexing and whatever, and the second song really focuses on the lyrics and. Kind of stuff especially here because they don't have to go for the concept and it works so good the, the voices are beautiful but especially gotta say that um han dong um stood out here the most she stood out here extremely like um, her voice is like amazing simply amazing great lyrics as well beautiful voice all of them are beautiful vocals i love that so much that all seven are like not just one is you know no one really falls off no one really feels like they're um you know, like they're not um, on the same level as the other. All have this 
have such a beautiful voice, beautiful vocals, and it just really shines through here. Great song with great lyrics instrumental wise. And once again, they look so pretty. They're all so pretty. I think wasn't there a comment earlier that I that I wanted to read? Yeah, exactly. She's obviously the most pretty. No, she is. No, she is. No, she is. No, she is. And then like, oh well, fuck. <laughs> Absolutely plastic. All wonderful women and just wonderful singers. Amazing artists, wonderful song. Alright, we're at 15 minutes already. These videos always take a while because like I always got so much positive stuff to say. And yeah, beautiful songs, great songs. The intro was heavy. Good night was absolutely dope. I absolutely loved it. Absolutely like ah. <sighs> Stream just goes so hard once again, like these anime vibes. And then the second song, Lula Beach, is absolutely wonderful, beautiful lyrics. But like I said, it just doesn't really feel like this lame kind of ballad that I like listen to once or twice and then never listen to again. I think we'll put this in my place because, like, the, the switch up in between with the instrumental that just sounds really good. I think I would give this um, definitely spot in my playlist as well. All right, that's it with this reaction to their second single album, Fall Asleep in the Mirror. and. Next time we see each other with Dreamcatcher, unless we get a new release in between, will be with their first mini album, which means like four to five, six new songs. And I'm already really looking forward to that. Like, yes, please give me more Dreamcatcher. But like, I don't want to um rush this through. So um, we got some Dreamcatcher for a while. So yeah, great album, great stuff. And I really, really hope that you enjoyed my reaction to this. If you did, then gladly leave a like down below. Um, tell me your thoughts um, on this second single album in general. And answer some of the questions I have with the Poison Love thingy. And how Lulu became together to the special clip. Gladly down below. And like I said, if you want to stick around for more Dreamcatcher. Then subscribe because we'll be getting more Dreamcatcher very, very soon. Just as much other K-pop content in April in general. It's a stack month. So yeah. I hope you have a great time. I hope you stay safe, healthy and happy. And I hope you have a great time ahead of you. Hope to see you soon.